We're going into the depths. With Nat Geo Explorer and storyteller Tara Roberts. As she sets off on the journey of a lifetime. Scuba diving to deepen our understanding of American history. You put so much on hold and you follow these extraordinary group of divers. How did you find out about diving with a purpose? I happened to go to the National Museum of African American History and Culture right there in DC. There was a picture of a group of primarily black women in wetsuits on a boat. And I discovered that they were a part of this group called Diving with a Purpose and that their mission was to search for and help document slave shipwrecks around the world. It spurred some stuff inside of me. The group of black divers searching for artifacts at the bottom of the ocean to uncover the untold history of the transatlantic slave trade. 1.8 million lives lost, about 1,000 ships wrecked, most recently the Coltilda, the last known slave ship to arrive in the U.S. It remains were found in Alabama in 2019. This is not just black people's history. This is global history. There were four continents involved in the global slave trade. It went on for 400 years. The transportation of 12.5 million Africans changed coastlines. It changed landscapes. It created wealth. It diminished wealth. So Tara dived right in, quitting her job and receiving her scuba certification to help bring the story of diving with a purpose to life. Now her undersea adventures are being told in the new podcast, Into the Depths, produced by National Geographic, a division of Disney, ABC's parent company. There's all this history that exists. We have not touched the surface. Can you describe to folks the work that you have done? It's like a three-month process of learning how to be a scuba diver. You have to get 30 ocean dives under your belt. I got to know the divers who are incredible. And they're from all walks of life. They all walks of life. They're not necessarily scientists or historians. They're yoga teachers, policemen, civil engineers, students, and they are committed to this work. For Tara and DWP, it's all about preserving our heritage and educating the next generation. We went out on the water for a scuba training session led by Diving with a Purpose instructor, Kramer Wimberly. How do you all go about determining where these ships could be? Some archaeologist who says, I think the ship lay somewhere in this area. We will go down into that area and create a site map of everything that exists. Once we've identified the potential artifacts, then we actually go down and sketch what it looks like. What is it like for you personally? It's about being able to tell the stories of those nameless Africans who were on that ship and recognizing we need to turn this over to young people who are going to end up being the ones who can continue to work once we're done. That includes Tara's 13-year-old nieces, Wu and Shai, now following in their aunt's footsteps. Now we can glance down when we want to see how much air we have. Training for weeks to receive their own certification. Me and Shai are out here training and practicing for our dive. It's on Tara. It's fun. It's always going to be fun. I like how she like goes scuba diving and like she saw a lot of things. Hopefully I don't see a shark. The duo putting in practice to take this giant leap of faith. Their first time diving into open water. It's really cool. Uh, they just said that there's a shark. That's why I'm here. They, in fact, saw a shark, plenty of fish, and their proud Auntie Tara on the other side. All right. This next generation that's coming along, your nieces. So what was it about your story and what you do that inspired them to want to get in the water? I think it's sort of like me seeing the picture of the divers in the museum. We're not often seen represented in places, and if you're not seen, then people don't think that that's for them. And now you're representing because you are the first black woman explorer slash storyteller on the cover of Nat Geo magazine. That's so crazy. I grew up reading Nat Geo. 
and I never saw like explorers that look like me so it's mind-blowing to see this picture looking back can be difficult can be painful the pain of uh, this history how do you reconcile all of that with the work that you're doing and and, and, and what it means yeah um say that when I started this work, I didn't want to look back at our past. But what I found inside of this work, there's something that is surprisingly healing about this work. There's agency. This idea that a group of people, ordinary people, have raised their hands and said, you know what, that history is important, and I'm going to do what I can to help raise it from the depths. There's something really empowering about that. Our thanks to Robin. Up next.